Hi there, Professor Schimmel with a demonstration of the phenylalanine test, testing for the ability of a microorganism to metabolize an amino acid called phenylalanine. This is phenylalanine test auger. Uh, it's a slant, nothing much to look at. I am not using any live organism in this demonstration. I will um, attach photos of a positive um, and negative reaction at the end of the video. Anyways, um, using aseptic technique, I would uh, inoculate my slant with a sterile swab and I would, um, I would want to cover the entire surface of the slant, uh, so I'm just pretending here, with microorganisms. So I would go in with a swab full of the test organism and uh, streak it up the entire length um, of the slant, trying to cover the entire surface area of the slant. Play my tube again. And of course, this uh, swab, which is not contaminated because I'm just kind of play acting here, uh, would go in the biohaz can. Now, before you incubate, so I put my cap back on. Before you incubate, you want to loosen the cap about a quarter of a turn. You don't want the cap so loose that it's falling off, but you want a little bit of air to be able to get in there. Then you would um, incubate this as recommended in your lab manual. After incubation, again, coat, gloves on, but I don't have any microorganism here. Um, not so much worried about sterile at this point because these um, tubes will be disposed of when we're done. You will use a reagent called ferric chloride and what you will do to finish up the test is add five drops. Don't touch the bottle to the uh, tube. Replace the cap. Replace the cap of the uh, uh, tube on your organism. And then I just kind of do this number. Uh, now the ferric chloride solution is bright yellow, so the bright yellow doesn't have anything to do with the reaction. And I just kind of rotate the tube like this. I'm trying to get the ferric chloride to um, kind of loosen the growth that's on the slant up so that the ferric chloride can come into contact with the slant. Now the reaction usually occurs pretty quickly, but if um, part of or all of the slant turns dark green, that's a positive reaction. In a very, very strong positive reaction, the entire slant will turn green. If the reaction is not quite as strong, but still a positive, you may see green only around the edges of the slant, but either of those reactions would be a positive. Uh, a common error that students make is that they sometimes forget to loosen the cap a little bit and that is uh, going to give you a false negative because the organism won't be able to grow properly without a little bit of um, air in there. All right guys, thanks for watching.